Hi everyone, Zach Weinert here for CGBoost.com and did you know that my Blender Launchpad course just got better? We added a big update that covers UV mapping, texturing, texture painting and baking. Uh, well, not that baking texture baking. That means besides the existing content of about 200 video tutorials, we added over 60 new lessons. If you don't know what the Blender Launchpad course is, in a nutshell, it's a comprehensive online course that helps you to get over the struggle and frustration to getting started with Blender and 3D by covering everything that's important to make your way into the world of 3D engaging and fun. And zero knowledge required to get started. Learning Blender with YouTube is great, however, when you get started you might feel a bit lost and overwhelmed and the danger is great that you will miss some important things along the way. That's why I created this online course to give people interested in 3D the opportunity to learn Blender and 3D in a non-overwhelming way with professional support and a supportive student community. So after watching and finishing this course, it will be much easier to continue learning with YouTube or other more advanced courses. Besides all important fundamental tools, workflows and so on, you will learn how to create an animated, 3D scene from scratch. On purpose, I excluded UV mapping and texturing from the main course because out of all the fundamental topics you have to learn as a 3D artist, texturing and UV mapping is by far the hardest to understand because it's very technical and can be quite confusing, especially in Blender. That's why the main course focuses on all the other important topics first and then when you have a solid understanding on how Blender works, it will be much easier to dive into the new texturing chapters. As the main course, the new update comes with short and fun lessons to make it easier to learn or to find and rewatch a lesson later on. It includes many exercises to practice what you've learned and all the important project files are shipped with the course. In the first bonus chapter, we will learn everything important about UV mapping and UV unwrapping. We will learn about the basic workflows and some pro tips to speed up the whole process. And in the exercise at the end, you will UV unwrap this 3D scene here. The second chapter is all about texturing. We will learn how to use textures in Blender's shader editor and how much flexibility it gives us to adjust the textures directly in Blender. We will learn how to use masks, seamless textures, how to create semi-realistic materials on the fly, how to work with PBR textures and much more. We will learn with image textures and computer generated procedural textures and we will learn about some useful workflows. In the exercise at the end, you will texture this 3D scene here. In the third bonus chapter, we will dive into texture painting. First, we have a look at the vertex paint mode, which don't requires any textures as foundation, however it has its limitations. After that, we will dive into the more powerful texture paint mode. We will learn about all the important settings and options, how to create custom brushes, how to use Blender's shader editor as kind of painting layers and much more. The following chapter is all about applying what we have learned. We will fully texture and texture paint this CG Boost barrel. Of course, you can create your own design and using Blender's real-time viewport makes this process especially fun. We will end up with a quite complex shader no tree in Blender, which can't be used in any other 3D software. That's why I show you in the last bonus chapter how to bake this big no tree down into practical PBR textures which can be used in Blender and other 3D tools and game engines. As example I will show you how to export and upload this model to Sketchfab which allows you to share your 3D models with the world. Yeah and then you should be prepared to texture your very own 3D models and make your 3D scenes look even more epic. By the way, this update comes free of charge for all existing customers. So if you got the course already, just log into your account and have fun. If you can't call yourself the owner of the course yet, you can get it at academy.cgboost.com. And if you want to know what about 300 of our students think about the course, check the reviews at cgboost.com reviews. I put the links down below into the video description. And here are some answers to questions which you might have. The videos of the new chapters are recorded in Blender 2.8.3, however everything still works in Blender 2.9 and beyond. 
The course can either be watched and streamed online or fully be downloaded. That means if you have an unstable internet connection, you can simply download the course and watch it offline. Also, each lesson comes with English captions. That means if English is not your native language, this hopefully makes it more accessible for you. And what if you get stuck at any point? No problem, because you can always ask your questions underneath each video. There's a discussion section and my team and I are there to help and also the other students. It is a paid, but in my opinion, a really affordable course and it is just a one-time payment. So you don't need to worry about getting into another subscription. And we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. That means if you enroll into the course and realize it's not the right thing for you, you can get a full refund within 30 days. So there's basically no risk for you. If you have any other question, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you now feel ready to finally tackle texturing in Blender or just getting started with Blender and 3D, head over to academy.cgboost.com and get started. That's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.